again. And hello, welcome to Taskmaster. I'm Greg Davis and this, as I've just said, is Taskmaster. At the end of today's episode, we'll have reached the halfway point in the series. Before we know it, a glorious winner will be holding this. <gasps> Lovely trophy, high above their head, weeping uncontrollably with massive tears of giddy joy. <laughs> so, let's amble towards that pitiful eventuality <laughs> and meet this week's guest panel of regular contestants. They are Ashling B! <laughs> Bob Mortimer! <laughs> Mark Watson! <laughs> Nish Kumar! <laughs> Sally Phillips! And here, still, but very much under the probation period of his contract, <laughs> it is my very little friend. <laughs> it's Nicola Alex Horn! <laughs> Have you genuinely got children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I've seen them this year. They are... <laughs> I'm a good father. I've got two boys um, and a boy, three boys. I've got three boys. And, uh, <laughs> up they go. Older and older. Yeah. Well, um... <laughs> I'm very glad that I keep you away from those children as often as I do, because you're, um... Well, you're a bad dad. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we get on with it? Yes, I do miss them. So... <laughs> Today's most, uh, I think, most extraordinary prize so far, the prize category, is Most Extraordinary Souvenir. Oh. We've asked them to bring in their Most Extraordinary Souvenir. You're going to judge which one is the Most Extraordinary Souvenir. Yes, I am. And whichever one you judge to have done the best, they get the first five points of the show. Oh. Whoever wins the whole show will go home with five extraordinary souvenirs. OK. Sally Phillips, good day to you. Good day to you, Greg. What is the souvenir that you have bought and why would I consider it to be... <laughs> extraordinary. Extraordinary. I brought in the souvenir most designed to make you sneer, which I think I'm going to find sexually arousing. <laughs> <laughs> it is ABBA Monopoly. Now, I'm just betting that you loathe ABBA. <laughs> I personally don't dislike the music of ABBA, oh. but I'm irritated by the band. <laughs> Because all this, we're not getting back together, we're not, we're not going to play another gig. Why don't fucking grow up? <laughs> Mark, what did you bring in? Well, I've got a, um, a T-shirt from Q8. It says Q8 on it and there's a sort of a, a cityscape. And we can the, see it if you want, oh, yeah. that helps. The reason it's extraordinary is because an, uh, an ordinary souvenir reminds you of a place you've been to. But in my case, I went to Q8 and I wasn't allowed in, so I haven't actually visited Q8, <laughs> but I bought the T-shirt on eBay as a souvenir of the place I would have seen. <laughs> I asked Alex, and he uh, told me that that's the buildings that Q80s live in. Yeah, they've all got one of them. They've all got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> a funny old country. Nish, what you brought in, and why is it extraordinary? Uh, I have brought in a single leaf. Shit. Bob, what have you brought in? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a man-made leaf from the set of The Lord of the Rings. <gasps> oh! Uh, Ooh. Which is now a sort of tourist attraction called Hobbiton that you can go to in New Zealand. And when I was there, that little guy had fallen to the floor and I popped it in my pocket and popped back home. <laughs> okay. Very extraordinary. Happy yep. with that? Bob, yeah, you're more than happy. Bob, what you brought in? Extraordinary? It's extraordinary to me. It's a, a, a big um, stuffed toy woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> so I. There he is. It's, it's very tall. It's, well, it's about five foot tall. Yeah. Wow. Really? And um, I took my kids to, um, like, Butlins in south of Spain, and they wanted that. <laughs> and, you know, when your kids are young, you want to make their dreams come true. <laughs> so I spent five days <laughs> trying to get that one, cos it was the ping-pongs, but there was one ping-pong right at the top. If you get that, you got the big fucker. <laughs> I'm not a dad, but I would say that most kids' dreams are to spend five days with their dad. <laughs> <laughs> Ashling B, what's your extraordinary souvenir? Uh, when my teeth would fall out, my mother would keep them and she would put them in an envelope and put them in a cupboard in the kitchen. So she has, you know the way you keep the bones of your child? <laughs> They're my teeth, any tooth that Aww. fell out. Thank you, Ashling. Well, um, I'm going to mark uh, these very quickly. Okay. 
And the least extraordinary gift, as far as I'm concerned, is Woody Woodpecker, OK? <laughs> and I'm not going ex to explain myself on television. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth, mm. pretty obviously, I'm putting an uh, absolutely horrendous T-shirt in fourth place. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, my furious um, attitude towards the band ABBA for their selfishness <gasps> in not reuniting <laughs> means that Sally Phillips can only take third place. <gasps> <laughs> Second place, thank you. Uh, Nish, because... <laughs> Any, anyone who brings in a physical representation of their youth in the form of actual parts of their body has brought in an extraordinary souvenir. Second Thank place. you, Weird Mother! <laughs> Task me up, Alex. OK, we're off, and you will either love or hate this next one. Um. Oh. Mm. Hi. Hello, Bob. Hello, Nish. How's it hanging? What do you mean? How are you doing? OK. Make Marmite. You have ten minutes to select your ingredients. And then ten minutes to make your Marmite. Like, I'm pretty sure it takes them longer to make Marmite than that in real life. <laughs> Best Marmite wins. I'm going to be brilliant at this. <laughs> How much would you give me to take a shit in this right now? Eight pounds. I know it's, uh, no, I'm thinking of bottle, it says beef extract on it. Well, I know it's yeast extract. What do, how do they extract from it? I bet it has some yeast just in case. Like. Hot is yeast. <laughs> Maybe have put a cow in a room to the withers and then they can mop up what's the residue? Miso paste. Sherry. Sherry. <laughs> I'm just getting pissed. What about absinthe? <laughs> Vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Dark, in other words, dark vinegar. Can I get a tin of Marmite? You know what? May that too. I think that most people went uh, instinctively, as I think I would have and you would have, have said, it's yeast. Bob didn't, though. Bob said, um, you just put a cow in a room till it withers. <laughs> <laughs> How long does the cow take to work? 40, 40 days. 40 <laughs> days. 40 days you get your first residue around the hoof. <laughs> wow, incredible. Um, Nish, if you've bought Marmite and included it in your Marmite, you haven't made Marmite, you've bought Marmite, <laughs> and I will be on you like a puma, my <laughs> Do you want to see them making their Marmite? I do, and quickly. OK. <laughs> Here we go. Marmite, I think it's salt plus memories of meat. <laughs> it says 89.9% proof. Here we go. Job done. Okay. I think it's just going to be bread. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ooh, it's just so much like Marmite now. Oh, what's this? Barbaral! I've just found some barrel. I mean, it's not quite as thick as I'd like it to be. Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Who marmite? <laughs> well, we're going to look at them one at a time, and then you can judge them. And yeah, we'll yeah. start with Ashling. This is her finished product. Uh, the temperature-wise, very hot. Yes, because it's just been made. Doesn't it smell like Marmite? No. What? It doesn't smell like Marmite. You're having a bloody laugh, mate. Have you smelled it? Marmite. It's all edible, it's all natural. So your main selling point is it's all edible? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Talk to me. It tastes a little bit like Bovril. It's not, not nice. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Mm, but it doesn't taste like Marmite. Ah, oh, Alex, you're living in a dream world. <laughs> it didn't look like Marmite, it looked like baby poo. <laughs> but did it taste like Marmite? Alex, tell them the truth. <laughs> tell them the truth, Alex. God, I can feel the force of her. Tell them the truth. Tasted a little bit like Marmite. A little bit, yes. And the eyes, they're so angry. So, should we move on to Mark? <laughs> right, just, uh, Mark, let's see, uh, let's see Mark Mike. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, can see the, you can see the colour at the top of that. So, do I spread or pour, Mama? I can't remember. Uh, you it's, no, Mama, it's a spread. It's a spread. It's a spread. Well, I've poured it. Well, that's not my fault, is it? I mean... It... Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Thank you. The texture's appalling. The colour's good. The taste is not unlike Marmite. Mm. Yeah. I mean, the texture was clearly that of frog spawn, but... <laughs> But uh, Alex, you know, his mouth doesn't lie. It didn't look great, but I've, I've got to say, I, I do believe it tasted a fair bit like Marmite, and you know that, because the surprise in Alex's eyes that it wasn't total shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see the next VT. Sounds like a swimming coach, Bob Marmite. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bob Marmite. <laughs> is it just a little bit you have on the toast? You treat it exactly as you would Marmite, right? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I would say, if I didn't know that wasn't Marmite, I'd probably guess that's Marmite. <laughs> you said if you close your eyes, it would have... Yeah. I mean, you could have been fooled into thinking it Bob was kept saying that he didn't want the beef to dominate, and it didn't dominate. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Considering there are 24 beef oxo cubes in it. <laughs> Stop everything! We're governed by advertising. Here's your next apportioned ration. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to this particular episode of Taskmaster. Alex, can you update me with the current situation, please? Yes, they've been making Marmite. Next up, it's Nish, who you've um, threatened because he bought Marmite to make Marmite with and displeased you, so here we go. It's not a million miles away from the colour of Marmite. It's not the colour that I'm worried about. <laughs> it's the sound. Yeah, that's it. It doesn't sound like Marmite. Also, it's very, very hot. Yeah, really. <laughs> it looks to me like a combination of pouring and, um, therapy. Oh, fuck! It's not an ideal consistency. Have you ever regretted <laughs> the, this show? Not yet. Knife. Oh, yeah. You can really taste the vinegar. Mm. You can also taste the marmite, if I'm honest, because of the marmite in it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Nish. Um, he put marmite in it. Yes, and a lot of vinegar and hot water is liquid, lumpy, and very, very hot. I genuinely quite liked it. <laughs> I don't know why. Absolutely disgusting. Well, <laughs> Let's see um, my favourite weather girl, Sally Marmite. Let's <laughs> start with Marmite number one. Yeah. This is the best Marmite because it is not Marmite, is it? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Drink it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. One. Come on, that's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> I really feel drunk. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, the best, best one. Yeah, it comes with a free toy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Looks a little bit like jam. <laughs> With a lot going on. happened when he had the absolute thoughts he went bright purple and couldn't speak for 20 minutes. <laughs> there was a lot going on. We could see, do you want to see all their jars so you can see Sally's, uh, how much she contrasted. Insanity. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> we haven't labelled hers because it's quite obvious which ones are hers. <laughs> OK. You're going to have to judge them as the best Marmite. Guess who's got nil points. <laughs> It was a flagrant breaching of the rules, even though you had me thinking that soggy bread might be all right. You uh, crash into fifth place with uh, no points. Mm. Um, Sally misheard no, the I'm task. I'm going to accept this. She misheard the task <laughs> no, as, no. can you please show Alex the time of his, <laughs> time of his life? 
fourth place. <laughs> Rookie. Uh, oh. Mm. I mean, I'm going to have to go by what you told me was the most Marmite-like in taste. Ashling, he told me behind your back... <laughs> <laughs> behind my back? ..that it tasted, and I quote, fuck all like Marmite. <laughs> Weak little turd, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you are weak. Yes, I am. You are yes, weak. I am. And just uh, on taste alone, you told me that Bob's was virtually tasted like Marmite, so Mark must uh, sadly fall into second place and Bob is the winner. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. Okay. First, second, third, fourth. Yeah. You did seem to really enjoy it. Are the scores looking healthy after that? They're looking terrific, and my favourite, Ashling B, is now in the lead. <gasps> OK, I fancy a team task. Do you have a team task? I do have a team Ooh. task. It's this one. Just three legends. Don't worry about it. Just the gang. Bob, Sal and Ash. Hi. 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 The team's in town. Watson and Kumar. Oh, Nish. <laughs> All right. All right. Kumar. Uh, quite a few... A clock, a lot of clocks on the table. It's not to jump the gun, but it looks, it looks <laughs> like there are clocks involved. All non-digital. That's interesting, ah, isn't it? Yeah. I'll do this one. Got a lot of energy, isn't it? Do something remarkable synchronised. You have a maximum of 30 minutes. Most remarkably synchronised behaviour wins. Your time starts yeah. now. Yeah. Maybe it would uh, trigger some ideas if we yeah, 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 around the house good, a bit. Yeah. yeah. I guess we should try and walk... A, I'll try and mimic your exact walk okay. just, just to get in practice. As I say, this is just this is good backup. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily bode that well for Wuma. <laughs> As we now know. But you chose to do a difficult to copy walk. The problem is when someone tells you to think about the way that you're walking, you immediately walk like you've got severe hemorrhoids. <laughs> Let's have a look how these uh, two clowns did. <laughs> okay. That's exactly what they are. Here we go. Breakfast. <laughs> well, my observation was that you were never synchronised. <laughs> but why put a giant glass of whiskey in when Mark Watson clearly struggles... <laughs> ..clearly struggles to power drink a giant glass of whiskey <laughs> at mid-morning? I, 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 I think it's a pattern, really, in this uh, task. I'm more about commitment than actual attainment. <laughs> I think what we should do is um, probably see your competitors. Mm. Okay. I, I mean, I don't feel good about your chances, but <laughs> th this might be awful. So the, the trio uh, were much more organised. They planned it, they rehearsed for 15 minutes. They also recorded Sally's voice to instruct them when to do the things. It was a good wow. plan. Right. But did it work? OK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go? Go on. Definitely. Woo! Yeah. Facing forward, holding T. And right, right, left. Left, forward, back, forward, to the side, over the top, to the side, over the top, step back, and sip the tea, and throw the mug, and to the right, right, left, left, forward, back, forward, to the side, over the top, to the side, over the top, and step back, and spit the tea, and right, forward, 
back, forward, to the side, over the top, to the side, over the top, and take out your catcher. Wake the ball. One, two, three. I was fucking shit. <laughs> Sally and Ashling were absolutely Faultless. bang on. Faultless. Absolutely Literally faultless. faultless. <laughs> yeah. I love the fact that you forgot to keep your tea in your mouth. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You get to a certain age, I'm the same. If I get a lovely, if I get a lovely cup of tea, that's going yeah. down. It's going down. Well, there are five points to be won. Yeah, there are. Mm. Listen, I enjoyed both of them in their own special way. I'm going to give Woomar um, two points. If only for Mark Watson's face when he was uh, <laughs> struggling to take off a pint of whiskey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. uh, really the the almost synchronised trio, three points. Three points. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And now it's smooth link time. That's the end of part two of Taskmaster. Farewell for now. Davis from Taskmaster. I feel like it's time for a whole new task. What have you got for me, Alex? I've got you a little, uh, a little bracelet, a friendship bracelet. There's half a heart there. I've got the other half. There. <laughs> and the task. <laughs> yeah, we've got a task. We've got a task. Another task. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Excellent. What the bejoizers is this all about? Hi, Alex. No, oh, he's not talking. It's up to him, isn't it? Wearing this blindfold, blow up this balloon. Uh-oh. Blow up this balloon so that its circumference is the same as the length of a standard cucumber. The balloon? <laughs> it's circum... Yeah, OK. Um, you have one minute. Your time starts when Alex blows his whistle. You have one minute. What's all this then, mate? A distraction? I mean, I can't blow up balloons, so already I'm at a disadvantage. OK. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Good, so pretty, pretty straightforward task. Yeah, it was quite a simple task. Blow uh, up a balloon so it's... The, the circumference is the same, same length, length as, as a, a cucumber. Standard cucumber. Standard cucumber. Standard cucumber. Standard cucumber. So they popped on their eye masks and they tried to successfully blow the balloon to the right circumference. I can't blow up balloons, lads. The circumference of a cucumber. Surely the circumference of a cucumber is very, very narrow. Can I ask any help? No. <laughs> now that I think about it, that is massive. That is definitely too big. Oh, there's a different task. I did sort of wonder about all that stuff. All oh, right. Wow. Spot the difference. Have a look at the scene in front of you. Oh, you never told me that I had to look at it in the first place. Let's have a look at the scene in front of you and explain exactly what's changed since you put the blindfold on. You have two minutes. Your time starts now. <laughs> Sneaky, wasn't it? We were all surprised when you took off your eye masks and something had happened. But uh, we did make ten differences to the scene in front of you. Uh, we had a minute to do it whilst you were blowing your balloons. This is what we did. Just to run through the ten differences, uh, the mannequin has now got a beard. There we go. Uh, the lamp is now a duck. The water's turned to wine. The potato is on the table. The squirrel is now a cat. Pots became spot. There we go. Uh, rug. The rug has swivelled. The entire backdrop is blue instead of green. Alex's hat has changed and Alex's body has changed. <laughs> How do you think they did? 
Well, I would think that if anyone didn't notice that a human had changed, <laughs> those people should seek some sort of professional help. <laughs> Let's yeah. see. Well, we can start with Mark. I've known Mark for 20 years. <laughs> We can look at Mark and Sally and Bob. Oh, OK. OK. Uh -oh. Here we go. I, be I believe that said pots, not spot. The thing on the easel was different and that the pots were in a different configuration. The cat was in a slightly different position. I thought it was a squirrel on the chair, but is it that cat? And was it always that cat? I think the duck may have been somewhere else. Um, I don't think the duck was there at all. Uh, Horn's hat, I don't think was that, was it? I think Horn was wearing sort of a cowboy hat or something, but... I believe the colour of Alex's hat has changed. I think that Alex had a different hat on. Is he wearing a gas mask now that he wasn't wearing before? Oh, thanks everyone. Bye, Alex. Thanks for the talk. I think that pretty much Bob and Sally just said everything, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they, they just, just said there wasn't a table. <laughs> ah, the... <laughs> they both they both noticed two things were different. That everyone noticed the hat, and uh, Bob noticed the squirrel had gone, and you noticed the duck had appeared. <laughs> and Mark, not much better, he noticed the hat. Uh, the sign said pots. That was good. And then the potato and the wine. So uh, not great. Right. <laughs> None of you noticed I wasn't there. <laughs> Easily done. <laughs> Let's see if younger eyes are more successful. OK. <laughs> Here are Ashling and Nish. The mannequin in the bed has a beard. The man in the sleeping bag now has a beard. The cat was a dog. That cat was not on the chair. And also Spot was black. I knew I should have been paying better attention. That didn't say spot. I think it said pie or something. It said something about beginning with a P. And the potato and cat swap position. The duck was there. The pots of paint were not there. The mat's the same. The blanket is going the opposite way to the way it was. Ooh. Alex is shorter. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not. Right, well, Horn was wearing a, uh, a Stetson. Now he's wearing a hard hat. The hat is an obvious difference. Yeah, that's, that's what I got. <laughs> Not a bad effort from uh, Nish, considering, well, how spectacularly rubbish he is across the board. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, Nish didn't do very well. He, uh, the beard, the cat and the hat, the, that old Oh, that old story. tail. tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Ashling was the only one who noticed it wasn't me, so thank yes. you for that. Ashling and yet, was... earlier on, with the Marmite, you stabbed me in my face. <laughs> I mean, you were absolutely incredible at that task. Incredible performance. Yeah, the beard, uh, the spot became a word beginning with P. The blanket was the other way around. That was amazing. Yeah. No yeah. one spotted that the three metre by two metre tarp pauline had changed colour. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest thing had changed from blue to green. Was there nothing for the cucumber measuring? Absolutely we'll do that. fuck all. <laughs> 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 I know there is. It's just instinct. <laughs> <laughs> it was just instinct to shut him down. <laughs> 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 what about the cucumber? Oh, there's definitely something for the cucumber. Oh, yeah? Uh, so in the first half of the task, Ashling gets five points, Mark and Nish four, Bob and Sally two. OK, because of their observations. Stroke, mm. physical problems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cucumber circumference, obviously I've put it in a, uh, in a graph. Pretty pleased with this graph. Obviously. The standard cucumber, as we all know... <laughs> I've converted circumference to length of cucumber. As we all know, the standard cucumber is 30 centimetres or one foot. That's why quite often we say, I'm six cucumbers tall. <laughs> and weirdly, uh, Mark was the closest. He was just 1.5 centimetres out, a couple of peas away. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Bob, Bob was a green bean away, then Ashling, then Sally, then Nish, who was a whole cucumber out. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some points there, right? Factoring in the cucumbers and the differences, the totals are Ashling and Mark both get eight points, Bob six, Nish and Sally four. Oh. oh. <laughs> so fine, isn't it? So can we see a scoreboard? OK, I can show you a scoreboard. Uh, there is nine points from last to first, and Ashling is in the lead with 19 points. Oh hey! <laughs> She's yet 
to win an episode. Right? None of that's been cheated to put you in the lead either, just because Alex is so genuinely frightened of you. You're not frightened of me, are you, Alex? I'm not frightened of you. See, he's grand. <laughs> We're going to see the. Do you want to see the series scoreboard? Oh God, yeah. They're all in there uh, in the sixties, except for Nish. So um, <laughs> Mark is the current leader, yet what? to win a show, but he's on sixty-seven points. Then it's sixty-six to Bob, sixty-two to Sally and Ashling, and then there's Nish, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite tight. It's quite tight. <laughs> yeah, neck and neck. We've, um, got, we've got time for one really quick task, if you want it. Uh, Yes, I do. <laughs> OK, that's, that's a relief. Here it is. Hmm. Hi, Alex. Hello, Mark. I always feel a bit like I'm coming to see the headmaster in this room. Thank you. Sneeze. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Like an actual sneeze? Yes, please. <laughs> How do you force yourself to sneeze? Yeah. You wanted to see some big sneezes. Yeah. And I should say, early doors, I want a genuine sneeze. Mm -hmm. Who should we see first? I guess we're going to try to see the involuntary spasms of Ashling, Bob and Sally. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. See, as fast as the wind, your time starts now. <laughs> right, I've recorded half a second. Yes, but can I tell you that I already did a sneeze before that and I would like it counted? Is that done? Yeah, I'll just um, take the hanky and... Sneeze a bit there. And when we analyse the footage, were they yeah. definitely sneezes? Yeah. Really? And was that a real one? Yeah. These are all real sneezes? Everything's real sneeze. What is real? What brings on sneezing? Jumping really high? <laughs> or sticking the, the tail of this up his nose? Will that make me sneeze? <laughs> I don't feel sneezy. White pepper always seems stronger to me. Pepper coming out for weeks. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So weird, isn't it? I was just so, like everyone, so thrilled when he actually sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> it took him ten minutes and one ten second. Ten minutes, wow. Amazing. Uh, you two need to explain yourselves. You can't prove mine wasn't real. I can't prove it? No. Yeah. I can None of you can I can prove ask you how? to tell me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor. Oh, oh. Show me the doctor who tells me that's not a sneeze. I see. You're the worst liar I've seen since I was a teacher. <laughs> We're stopping there mid-sneeze. See you here in a few minutes for the final part of the show. There's a task that needs completing. Sneezing, Alex. That's right. All they have to do is sneeze. Fastest wins. Let's see how the twins, Mark and Nish, got on. <laughs> <laughs> I can normally... <laughs> I can normally make myself sneeze by uh, just doing that. Well, that would be but ideal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got hay fever. You got any pollen on you? <laughs> These flowers must be out of pollen. This is very undignified. Oh, I found some pepper, but I, I don't know whether it is really works. No, not really. I need dust horn. Or flour. There's a hoover bag full of dust. Oh, that is too much. <coughs> <coughs> I surrender. My nose is burning quite badly, and I feel a bit dizzy and sick. You can see why it... This isn't the one that they end up doing at parties. No, I don't think it's going to come. So if I do sneeze 
any time the rest of the day. I'll, I'll try and send you a video of it. Yeah. <laughs> so this failed. Well, he gave up on ten minutes, one second before Bob's came out. You may have just missed it by a second. Oh. Hmm. I think we're going to have to drill down into... Um, uh, within, like, two or three seconds of being set to the task, Mark fell straight to his default technique. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe I'm quoting correctly, this normally works. <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> mow, mow. <laughs> Um, and my question to you is, uh, where did you develop the technique? <laughs> Why did you develop the technique? The real story is that, uh, like Nish, I suffer from hay fever, and sometimes with hay fever, you, you're constantly, your nose is constantly tickly, you can't quite sneeze. So I, I evolved a technique for basically forcing a sneeze. <laughs> but I was wandering up and down the house doing that for... Uh, it was... Well, Alex... 40 was, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was... Uh, Mark did promise us a sneeze within two to three working days. <laughs> <laughs> and within 48 hours, I did receive a video message. OK. And then I received seven more video messages over the next week. <laughs> Says he's got quite a distinctive sneeze. Here it is. <laughs> 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 That's not the sneeze. Very drunk on that one. Yeah. <laughs> so it's up to you, Greg, to decide which were the real sneezes. We had Mark after 48 hours and just in front of him, Bob after 10 minutes. <laughs> OK, well, N Nish ruled himself out early doors. Mm -hmm. um, both of the women uh, did... Sally uh, and Ashling. <laughs> oh, I, I, I sometimes group the men together as well, but if you want me to go individual, both of the chicks, Sally and Ashling... <laughs> Sorry, hot chicks. <laughs> I'll actually take that. <laughs> OK. Sally and Ashling uh, did fake sneezes. I would bet Alex's life on that. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> obviously, Bob nailed it. So five to Bob, four to Mark, none to anyone else. Correct. OK, there we go. We finished. <laughs> Which means... There's just one point separating three people at the top. Bob and Mark have 20 points, and Ashley has 19 now. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> OK, will you all please head to the stage, everyone, cos it's the final task of the show! <laughs> Three blokes, Ashling and Sally, <laughs> and some balloons. Alex, who's going to read the task out? Four blokes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. I, I, uh... No, I think I think Greg's maths were right here. Yeah. I hadn't noticed you were there. <laughs> Ashling, there's a task for you. Okay, I don't have my glasses on, so I might have to squint. Stand on one leg for the longest while playing a game of Greg Says Alex Says... What the hell is that? <laughs> um, your raised foot must remain above the balloon at all times and may not touch any other item. So you've all got to stand with one leg uh, raised over the balloon. They're each wearing a... I guess you'd call it a sandal with pins on the bottom. <laughs> so that's the one that has to go over the balloon. <laughs> and we're going to play a game of Greg Says... Alex says, which is like Simon says, when Greg says it, as in I'll say Greg says do this, then you have to do it. If it says Alex says, just ignore it. <laughs> really? Yeah. So if it says Greg says do the thing, you have to do it. If it says Alex says it, you don't have to don't do, do it. it. I love this game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Greg is going to be watching your foot. It must stay over the balloon at all times. The other foot must stay on the red circle. Uh, the first balloon to go, they'll get one point. The last balloon to go will get five points. OK. OK. Yeah. So Greg okay. says, put one foot over the balloon. From now on, that must stay over the balloon. So make sure you're comfortable. And now we're ready to play. Greg says, put your hands on your head. <laughs> I hate this show! Hands on your head, please. Alex says, put one hand on the head of a person next to you. Okay. Oh, Bob's out. Greg says, bow deeply. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Okay. Oh. Greg says, blow a kiss to the taskmaster. A French kiss. 
A French A French. <laughs> a French piss. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alex says twerk. <laughs> Gone. Okay, she's gone, she's gone. Okay, there's two left in it. Uh, Greg agrees, and Greg also says twerk. Oh, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> oh, I know. It's, it's gone. It's not, it's gone. not. <laughs> Ashley wins! <laughs> Can you all make your own animal see that's affected the final scores? All right then, Alex, so now can you give me lots of information? Mark came second and Ashling came first, and what that means is that the scoreboard excitingly looks like this. For the first time in the series, we have... Oh! A draw! Oh! A draw, we have a draw. Oh! Mm. Shut the front door a tie break. Oh, Alex, what happens now? Well, as you know, over the past few months, our contestants took part in some tie-break challenges... Yes! Well, ..in case exactly this sort of thing happened. And in this tie-break task, we tested their ability to back-throw a Swede. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> All they had to do was stare at a picture of you and chuck a picture of our old friend Fred into the bin behind them in as few attempts as possible. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see Ashling's attempt first. Here it Go. is. Is this a famous Swede? Because he looks like he might be a murderer. I got into comedy so I wouldn't have to sit at a desk dealing with paper. Ah! Oh, did I get it in? <laughs> The, ce the celebration's going to take some beating. Can we see Mark's? Yeah, this is Mark's attempt. Dust it off. So I can tell you that Ashling got Fred in the bin in 66 attempts. <laughs> Mark got Fred in the bin in 15 attempts. Oh. <laughs> well done. Well done, Mark Watson. Go and collect your souvenirs for keepsake. Mark Watson! <laughs> How you doing that? Great time for you, Alex. Is it? Yep. Good, good. <laughs> Just there? Yep. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Talk for lunch today. We've learned that even Alex Horn's closest friends don't notice when he's not there. <laughs> but hey, now, don't forget, it's all about Mark tonight. Well done to him and well done to you for watching. Good night! <laughs>